Delmarva Almanac presents Arts and Times, the Eastern Shore's quarterly arts magazine and community calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and show in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. This past March, the Ocean City Art League proudly unveiled the beautiful new Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. The opening show featured the paintings of celebrated local artist Patrick Henry. He showed his beautiful pastoral scenes and a charming series on carousel horses. The brand new building boasts a handsome custom glass chandelier by Berlin glass artist Jeffrey Oxer. Art lovers will be able to take clay workshops by Eric Hers, as well as painting and other art classes. There is a dance studio and a performance space. Be sure and check it out the next time you visit Ocean City. There are many notable events this quarter. May 4th is the Berlin Jazz and Blues Bash. The weekend of May 10th is the Somerset Strawberry Festival in Marion Station. On May 18th, it is International Museum Day with free admission to most Delmarva museums. That is also the day of the 53rd Annual Colonial Highland Gathering in Fair Hill. May 25th is Fairmount Academy's 38th Annual 1800s Festival. May 26th is the annual Soft Shell Spring Fair in Crisfield. In June, the 8th is Fireman's Fest in Princess Anne. Taylor House will hold a concert on the lawn on June 9th in Berlin, and June 12th begins the three-day Cypress Festival in Pocomoke City. The weekend of June 15th, Arts Alive will be at Northside Park in Ocean City. That Saturday is also the Bluegrass Festival in Chesapeake City. And the next Friday is the 64th Delmarva Chicken Festival being held this year in Snow Hill. During the first week of July are our annual Independence Day celebrations. There are too many to mention here. Be sure and check your local town for fireworks, parades, and picnics. On July 7th, the Delmarva Chorus will be in Ocean City. On the 17th, the 37th annual J. Millard Taw's Crab and Clam Bake will be held in Crisfield. Remember, you need tickets in advance to have all-you-can-eat crabs and rub elbows with all the politicians. This year, the world-famous Chincoteague Island Pony Swim will be July 20th, 26th. Salisbury University will feature the This Land Art Exhibit beginning July 22nd, and July 27th will be the Family Birding Festival at Assateague State Park. Art strolls are definitely a habit worth forming. Every month, enjoy a great night out while supporting local artisans and businesses. Galleries and shops stay open late. Opening receptions feature special gallery exhibits and a chance to meet local artists. Often there is free entertainment. In the Tri-County area, there are First Friday receptions at the Ocean City Center for the Arts, First Friday Arts on the River in Snow Hill, Maryland, Second Friday Art Strolls in Berlin, and Third Fridays on the Downtown Plaza in Salisbury. Other towns with monthly art strolls include Cambridge, Chestertown, Chincoteague, Denton, Easton, Dover, Milford, Millsboro, Onancock, and Rehoboth Beach. Check out our website, artsandtimes.org, for more information about all of these events and others across Delmarva. Watch the next clips in this playlist to meet Patty Backer, who paints large-eyed fantastical creatures, Scott Dolby, a fly fisher who paints, or perhaps he's a painter who loves fly fishing, and former award-winning broadcast journalist Kelly Rouse, whose reputation is now growing as an actress. We'll also tell you a bit about Furnace Town, Living Heritage Museum and Village, where you can learn about our regional history and hike their beautiful nature trail. And at the Isle of Wight Nature Park near Ocean City, you can fish from the boardwalks or see beautiful birds. While you're visiting galleries and other cultural attractions in Somerset, Wicomico, and Worcester counties on Maryland's Lower Eastern Shore, be sure and pick up the print edition of Arts and Times. This publication is funded by Worcester County Tourism. Visit the beach and beyond. Thank you for watching this presentation. This has been a Moonshell production.